Okay, so now I'm going to start on the week four, chapter five, independent project five dash four. And again, notice the end date. So it would be late right now. Late restrictions are pretty lenient. So get your work in as soon as possible. Um, with the projects, you have three attempts to submit it. If you submit it twice and you still don't know what's going on with it, then contact me and I'll help you before you do that third submission to make sure we get everything corrected. Okay, so this week has a resource file, so I click it and make sure it's in my downloads. And then I'm going to download my start file. And I'm not going to open them from here because I don't have 2019. I have to go to lab.evri.edu. I log in there using the same credentials I used to get into Canvas. If you don't see Excel 2019 here, go to Apps, and you will see a whole world, depending on which classes you take. Um, once you see it in Apps, you can add it to your favorite. And then it will be on your favorites page when you come when it comes up. Uh, you might be asked to install a Citrix receiver. It's perfectly safe. It allows your computer to communicate with the virtual computer that has all these programs on it. And once I get here, I got to open other workbooks and then I want to browse. And we have a virtual environment out here where it has a My Documents, a desktop, and downloads. And then I have a C drive here. That's my local hard drive. And I'm going to find my downloads folder there. You can check the date and time to make sure that that's the file that you just downloaded. And then before I start working, I'm going to save that file. And again, I want to make sure I'm pointing to my local computer, so I'm going to browse. And make sure I'm on my C drive, my local C disk. And I'm going to go save this file in my BIS 155 week four folder. So when I get ready to submit it, I know where it's at, and I have the current version of it. Now I go back and put my directions over here on the other side. Went too fast. We've now done step one, open the worksheet, and download the resources.
can't group all the worksheets. This one I had to go look up. So I click the first tab, hold down shift, and keep clicking. Notice how they all turn green, and I let go. They are now grouped. Select cells A1 to B2. A1 to B2. Click the launcher in the alignment group on the home tab. And we want horizontal and center across selection. Okay, click the launcher in the page setup group. So on page layout, page setup, go to the margins tab. Under center on page, we want horizontally. And okay. Edit the contents of cell A10 to read cash paid for marketing. Okay, now. The neat part about what we just did, <laughs> when we grouped them, look here, even though it's on a different tab, it changed what we put on each tab. Because we changed that on that while they were grouped, then it became current for each worksheet in the group. Awesome. So I didn't have to go change every page. I didn't have to change the title on every one of them. All right, so click in cell A1, and if yours are still green, right click on a tab and it should say ungroup. In fact, here, let me regroup mine and I'll show you. All right, so I click back in A1 and then right click and ungroup sheets. Select the cash flow sheet. And we're going to build a static data consolidation for the cash flow from the operation selection. To do that, select cells B4 to B12. B4 to B12. Use SUM to consolidate the data from the three location sheets without link.
So we select B4 to B12. And on the data tab, consolidate data. And here's our sum. And we want to consolidate data from all three. All right, so I'll make sure I'm clicked in reference and I go to Peoria. And I'll select four through 12 and add it. And here's the nice part. I click on champagne. That's already selected, so I just add Rockford. It's already selected, and I add. This is without links on that one. So we do not check the checkbox. Okay, next we're on to, um, did I do something wrong on that one? Uh, let me double check, B4 to B12, whoops, B4 to B12. I did not get that error before. Source reference overlaps destination area. And my numbers aren't right here. All right, let me go back and do that again. B4 to B12. Um, that's why I can't find it. <laughs> Consolidate. Sum. And I want Peoria B4 to B12. And that champagne before to be twelve, add that. Go to Rockford. Oops, what did I do there? Rockford and and okay. All right, now, like I said, my numbers were wrong. I can look here and see if my numbers are right in figure 577. So this is where I should be now, not this part up here, but just double check the numbers. Okay. Now we build a static data consolidation for the cash balance at the beginning of the quarter's amount in cell. I think I skipped one. Yeah, okay, because we did this part and then it gave me an error, so I had to go back. All right, so we're actually on this step. Build the static consolidation for the cash flow from banking and investment section in cells E15 to B21. Delete the references in the consolidate dialog box and use the sum as the function. All right, so what they're telling me to do there is make sure I'm on cash flow and scroll down so that I can select B15 to B21. 
and I'll consolidate using sum. And I have to delete. Each of these references. Click back in the reference box and start with Peoria. And boxes in my way. Fifteen to twenty one for Peoria. And add it. Now it'll be easier. Then on Champagne, add it. Double checking for 15 to 21. And then Rockford, 15 to 21. And add. Okay. And now we got that one. Now we're on the B24 cash at the beginning at cash balance at the beginning of the quarter. So and then we select that cell, go to consolidate. We want some. We have to delete these. To make delete, not add. Then go back to reference and on Peoria pick B24, add and go to Champagne and scroll down, but it should be selected and add and then hit Rockford and add. Now we're on to the interesting part, inserting a picture. I'm sure many of you have done this a hundred times. So on cash flow, we'll delete cell A1. Select cell D2. Click the pictures button on the insert tab. Illustrations, insert illustrations, and then pictures. And then we're looking for the picture that we put in downloads. So I'm going to my downloads folder. And I double click it inserted. <laughs> All right. When I'm on the box, she um, brings up the format tools for the picture. So in the size group, I'm going to make this Click in row one and underneath format on the home tab, row height. And I want to make that 86.25. 
point to the logo frame to display a move pointer. Click and drag the image to appear in cell A1. Click cell D2 to deselect the image. And it should look something like this. Our next section is on inserting a hyperlink, which I love doing this, especially in really long documents. It comes in handy. So we're going to go to the Peoria worksheet and click on cell C3. Create a hyperlink that displays total cash flow and switches to cell A1 on the cash flow worksheet. All right, so from cell C3, we'll go to insert and link. And we want it to display total cash flow. And where we want it to go to is a place in this document on the cash flow worksheet, cell A1. Okay. And okay. Right click in cell C3 and copy. Then we're going to champagne on cell C3. And right click paste. Then go to Rockford, cell C3 and right click paste select the peoria sheet this is hit escape Click on cell C5 to click away from the link, and then click on the link to see if it jumps to cash flow. My suggestion would be to check your link before you paste it, because if it didn't work, then you have to repaste it three more times. Whereas if you check it first, then you know before you paste it. All right, now we're going to save our worksheet. Scroll back up to the top of the directions and upload that file. And because I know I saved it in my BIS 155 week four file, and it's 4.50 Central Time, I'm on Eastern, so it's 5.50. Actually, on my clock, I don't know why the file says 4.50. I guess because it comes from Citrix, maybe it's on a different time zone. And then I'll submit the file. I forgot to, oh good, I missed something. Apparently, when they were grouped, I must have hit an undo because I know we did that. Because I went and looked at it on each worksheet. 
And so what this is telling me is that when I was supposed to edit cash paid for marketing, apparently that didn't go through. I must have hit undo at some point and it did not like it and told me about it. So you should be fine. If not, go back and re-edit those to say cash paid for marketing and resubmit it. 